Spatchcock Funk here to bang your head. Today we are making heavy metal steak. This is the perfect steak. If you're like me, you've always wanted to know how to cook the perfect steak, today you're learning. You don't need a grill, don't need to go to a steakhouse, we're doing it all in our kitchen. The first thing you wanna do is get a good quality cut of meat. We are using two and a half inch thick ribeyes, which is our favorite cut of meat. Now, what you wanna do first is you're gonna salt and pepper each side pretty generously. And the thing is with this type of steak, right, it's the perfect steak because it gets cooked perfectly. You can control it any way you want to. And let's talk about heavy metal too, why that's important. We're using a cast iron skillet, which is the way to go, the answer to the perfect steak. When I think about heavy metal, heavy metal is one of those things, a concert, anywhere that can bring people together, which is what we're all about. And I got a story about heavy metal. So the crew, we throw this party called the Top Six Party. You basically make a list of your top six favorite songs, bring them, we put them on the wall so you can see, you hear a song, you're like, oh dude, I didn't know Alex liked that song. Or I didn't know so-and-so brought this. So at this party we have, and it's banging. We got food, we got drinks, we got all sorts of stuff going on. And all of a sudden I hear the beginning riff to maybe the godfather of heavy metal, Led Zeppelin. And the song is When the Levy Breaks, one of my favorite songs of all time. And I'm in the party all of a sudden, I hear the heavy beat start at the beginning, the bass line drop, and I'm like, whoa, dude, who played this song? And I run over, and it was my friend Dunk, right, who's a vegetarian, who's one of the coolest people ever. But heavy metal wasn't something I expected from her, and she, it's a surprise to me because she obviously rocks. And that's what we're gonna do with this steak. It's going to rock, it's going to be hot, it's gonna be heavy, and we're gonna kill it. Okay, get your cast iron skillet ripping hot. Put in two to three tablespoons of salted butter in the pan. We've got our ripping hot cast iron skillet. Our steaks have been seasoned. They've been sitting out at room temperature for a half hour. We're gonna put them in and we're gonna sear them for two minutes on each side. So it's seared two minutes each side. We're gonna put it into the oven at 415 degrees. Four minutes for rare, five minutes for medium rare, six to seven for a way you probably shouldn't cook a steak, but if you want to, that's medium well and well done. We've got our meat out. And anytime you want to party, you should rest up beforehand. This type of steak should rest for five minutes. What we're gonna do is we made a compound butter. This is actually rosemary, fresh rosemary and smoked paprika compound butter. So we're gonna put that across this beautiful ribeye and it's gonna melt in while it's resting. So we're gonna tent it, let it rest for five minutes. Sitting on top of this clean cutting board is a perfectly seared, perfectly cooked ribeye steak with the rosemary and smoked paprika compound butter. Let's do it. One quick slice, we turn it, perfectly medium rare. That's how you do it. Heavy metal, bang your heads, rock out to Spatchcock Funk. Check it.